he watches the bad movies so that you don't have to. It is time for Spend or Save with our friend and our film critic, Richard Roper, live and in living color yes. on the set for the first time in forever. I still have my spot here. There's still a little <laughs> indentation. Right. The only thing we're missing now is popcorn. Next I hope. Time. Next time. That's All right. You know, of course, I would think of eating of during the movie. That's <laughs> what I like. But first up, let's get, I do like the movies. First up, Oscar Isaac, as an ex military interrogator turned man with a gambling problem, Tiffany Haddish, and Willem Dafoe, co star in The Card Counter. All in. You count cards, right? I'm not that smart. But you win. You need someone to stake you. That's what you do. You run a stable. I'm always looking for a good thoroughbred. Mm -hmm. Having been sentenced to 10 years in prison, I learned to count cards. How'd you do that? Okay, I know this is a spin. It's got to be a spin. It is a big spin, Val. You know, the writer-director of this film is Paul Schrader. He wrote Taxi Driver, Raging Bull. He does films about people who are looking for either revenge or maybe redemption. And Oscar Isaac here is playing a gambler. In most gambling movies, the gamblers are out of control. He actually seeks solace in the numbers, because this is the guy who's been in the military, and he's been in prison, so he's used to routine. But it's about so much more than just gambling. You don't have to know about poker okay. or blackjack to enjoy this film, but as someone who has occasionally sat at the table, they get <laughs> all the details right. This is one of the best movies of the year, I gotta tell you. Guys. Wait, is Tiffany Haddish playing Tiffany Haddish, or is she? No. That's a great you know question. What I mean by that. She's so great at playing herself, but this is a mostly dramatic role. She becomes friends with Oscar, Oscar Isaac's character. She actually gets the financial backing to help him in his gambling career. Mm -hmm. So it's a very different change of gears for her, and she's wonderful in the yeah. show. Occasionally has sat at the table, Rich. <laughs> All right. Thank well, you. Well, everyone is talking about this one, the new FX series about the President Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky scandal. This is Impeachment American Crime Story. Are you sure you have enough evidence? My calls with Monica. Holy It all has to come out. <laughs> the press will destroy her. You don't know the half of it. My wife went into a hotel room with Bill Clinton. It is a lie. Mr. President, do you know a woman named Monica Lewinsky? That's me. That's my face. It seems like it's a little late to be doing this story, oh, but it never are you gets spending? Old. No, they should, yeah. they should have done oh, this. Ryan, 10 now years is ago. the time to do this. You know, remember a couple of years ago we had the People versus O.J. Oh. Simpson. I think yeah. sometimes you need a generation to kind of put it in perspective. And uh, Sarah Paulson, who played Marsha Clark so beautifully and won the Emmy in O.J. Simpson in that miniseries, now disappears into the role of Linda Tripp. You don't even recognize oh, her. God. But you know, you see somebody, Billy Eichner, there playing Matt Drudge. All these people who became famous. That's still maybe the craziest. Presidential scandal of all time. But what I like about this too is Beanie Feldstein, who plays Monica Lewinsky. She's Jonah Hill's sister, by the yeah. way. Yep. Wonderful actress. It's a little more sympathetic because if this story had broke nowadays, it would be treated a lot differently than it was in the 90s. And this is a big fat spin. This is a big fat spin. Brilliantly done, and it's one that you really kind of want to watch one episode right after another. All right, I love that. All right, another movie out this week is a pretty intense drama centering around three rough and tumble buddies. Rich, spend or save on this one. Yeah, Small Engine Repair. This started off as a play. Uh, John Polano, Shea Wiggum, and John Bernthal it seems like a play at first, guys, and it's about these three kind of, you know, 40-ish males who are very, you know, masculine, toxic almost. Uh -huh. But then something happens. A bro comes to their garage to sell them drugs, but they've really brought this college bro for something completely different. And then it takes a completely different turn. Wow. Really cool. All right, so we got three spends. Uh, are you saving on anything this week? Yeah, we're saving on Voyeurs, which is kind of a ripoff of Rear Window or Body Double. Kind of an intriguing presence. You move, uh, pre uh, premise. You move into a loft, and you can see everything that's happening across the way. And then you start seeing things that might be crimes, then maybe they're watching you. Then it all falls apart. Okay, good. Mm. We, got, we got three spins <laughs> yeah. anyway. We can Not save bad. on that one. Rich, thanks so much. <laughs> thanks. We'll see you next week. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.